demand, what determines demand? Again, when we look at the demand curve, we talk about a change in demand, what we refer to as a shift in the entire curve up and down like that. Tastes impact demand. Income impacts demand. Number of consumers. The price of substitutes. The price and availability of complements. So what happens when demand decreases? There's been a decrease in, in income of consumers. The price of substitutes fall. There's less consumers. Availability of complements decrease. Price of complements rise. When demand decreases, the entire sh curve shifts downward and to the left. And there's market forces that encourage prices to begin to fall. The prices fall. And quantity consumed and quantity supplied falls as well. Now there's market forces at work here. And what it means is quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. Inventory levels begin to rise. Suppliers have too much, a surplus of a product. Suppliers are forced to lower prices. Let me show this graphically to you. In this same graph that we built last time, quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. That means if suppliers do not reduce their prices, they're going to have an excess inventory. They'll have a surplus. Again, let's put some numbers to this. It's the same exact thing, and you can look at this for a second. In this case, surplus is equal to 5. So what happens when demand increases? Increase in income, prices of substitutes rise, more consumers, availability of complements increase, the price of complements decrease. And we'll talk about complements and substitutes in another video. So here we go. Demand increases. Prices is market forces for prices to rise. They begin to go up. And quantity supplied increases. The market forces at work are quantity supplied is less than quantity demanded. Inventory levels fall. Suppliers have too little. They have a shortage of a product. Suppliers are forced to raise prices. Boom, there we go. That's it.